Cotton fiercely condemns the left, Dems for sabotage in American power. I mean, that's the only real conclusion you can come up with on what's going on in this country. It seems like the Dems, it seems like the left is is on purpose trying to trying to uh, ruin America. Um, but before we get started, go ahead, hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. When you hit that alarm bell, change it from uh, personal to uh, all. That way you get all the notifications because I put out stuff sporadically throughout the day. Also, check out my link tree in the description. as a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my um, Instagram where I put out tons of news throughout the day to keep you informed. All right, let's talk about this news. Arkansas GOP Senator Tom Cotton, who fiercely condemned the riots ensuing after George Floyd's death and also has harshly criticized the Democrats for their support of the Iran nuclear deal, condemned the Democratic Party and the American left for their repeated attempts to sabotage American power in a multitude of ways. Cotton appeared on Fox News, uh, Life, Liberty, and Levin to discuss his new book, only the strong reversing the left's plot to sabotage American power. Quote, I started to conceive uh, only the strong last summer after the fiasco in Afghanistan, Cotton stated. I had so many Americans asking me, how did we let this happen? How did we lose? Um, how did we lose to, ba to a band of medieval savages? Great question, and um, y'all know how I feel about it. I think all of this is is by design. I think they intend. Why would you leave those weapons behind for the Taliban to get? I mean, com common sense would tell you to take these weapons before you leave. No, they leave millions upon millions of dollars of weapons behind for terrorists to take. He goes on to say, "Quote: I got the question in other in other forms too." He recalled, "How did?" We let left-wing radicals rampage in our streets in the summer of 2020, tearing down statues of our heroes like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and U.S. Grant. Uh, how we got to that point where we were allowing schools to indoctrinate our children with critical race theory and transgender ideology. We were subjecting troops in our military to similar kind of Maoist struggle, uh, struggle sessions. And, and great points, all great points. And these are some of the stuff that I covered and talk about and ask those same questions. Why is this stuff happening? But when you ask yourself why, again, you could come to only one conclusion that is by design. They want to destroy this country so they can bring in their their uh, socialist control. Um, then Cotton launched his attack on the left, quote, what I want to tell the readers of Only the Strong is that this is not um, this is not an accident. A agreed, I agree. He says uh, this is intentional. The decline that they sense in America is a decline by design, and that's my man. That's what I've been screaming from the rooftops for 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 years now. That and it's, it's getting progressively worse. So that's what progressives mean by progressivism. It means progressively worse. Worse. It means actually regression. Uh, quote, the Democratic Party has long been at best ambivalent about America and openly hostile to American power, whether the military or sovereignty about uh, a safety on the streets or having a strong, prosperous economy, he charged. It goes back to the roots of the modern progressive movement with Woodrow Wilson, the first president to openly repudiate the founding principles of our country. I, I agree. Woodrow R Wilson was a was a horrible, horrible president. Um, to criticize the Declaration and Constitution after you repud repudiate the founding principles of our country, it's a very short step to repudiating repudiating America itself which is what the new left did in the 1960s and 1970s during Vietnam. But I would say that the Vietnam War, I can understand what, what, why people were against that, though. Um, but he turned to the fulfillment of the left's desire in the presidency of Barack Obama, quote, and then you have the culmination of these trends in the presidency of Barack Obama, the most ideological president since Woodrow Wilson, and now his understudy, Joe Biden. And I totally agree with that. 
uh, Cotton pointed out that Obama was more guarded than Wilson in his statements, but sometimes, quote, but quote, sometimes let the mask slip as uh, when he said he didn't believe in American exceptionalism any more than, say, Greeks believed in Greek exceptionalism, which is really to say American exceptional exceptionalism is just some kind of outmoded, obsolete chauvinism for one's own. Or when he said he wanted to fundamentally transform America. I think that was one truth that um, Obama uh, made. He wanted to transform America. And we're looking, we're reaping um, what, he, what he meant by that. We're, we're seeing exactly what he meant by uh, transforming America. And he's done that. Look at America right now. Um, and asked about President Biden, Cotton concluded, quote, now that he's surrounded himself with the ideologues from the Obama team, you really see the third term of the Obama presidency when it comes to sabotaging the sources sources of American power. And I agree. That's why you see things like the draining of the strategic um, petroleum reserve and you see um, um, letting criminals out on the street. You see um, the FBI being politicized. You're seeing all of this stuff happening in real time right now to show that they really, really, tr they really trying to transform and they have transformed America to this dystopic uh, country that we're seeing today. That's why the midterms is going to be a reckoning and there's going to be a red wave. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe and check out DemarkRepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.